You are invited to take a moment to put yourself in the presence of the Lord. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. For who among men can know the counsel of God? Or who can imagine the will of God? For the thoughts of mortals are timid, and our foresight is uncertain. For the corruptible body weighs down the soul, and this earthly dwelling presses many thoughts upon the mind. And we assess with difficulty the things that are of earth, and we discover with labor the things that are within our view. So who will search out the things that are in heaven? Moreover, who will know your mind unless you give wisdom and send your Holy Spirit from on high? And in this way, those who are on earth are connected in their path, and men learn the things that are pleasing to you. The Word of the Lord. A reading from the letter to Philemon. But I beg you instead, for the sake of charity, since you are so much like Paul, an old man, and now also a prisoner of Jesus Christ, I beg you on behalf of my son, whom I have begotten in my chains, Onesimus. So I have sent him back to you, and you may receive him like my own heart. I myself wanted to retain him with me, so that he might minister to me on your behalf while I am in the chains of the gospel. But I was willing to do nothing without your counsel, so as to not make use of your good deed, as if out of necessity, but only willingly. So perhaps, then, he departed from you for a time, so that you might receive him again for eternity, no longer as a servant, but in place of a servant, a most beloved brother, especially to me, but how much more to you, both in the flesh and in the Lord. Therefore, if you hold me to be a companion, receive him as you would me. The Word of the Lord A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Now great crowds traveled with him, and turning around he said to them, If anyone comes to me and does not hate his father and mother and wife and children and brothers and sisters and, yes, even his own wife, he is not able to be my disciple. And whoever does not bear his cross and come after me is not able to be my disciple. For who among you, wanting to build a tower, would not first sit down and determine the costs that are required? to see if he has the means to complete it. Otherwise, after he will have laid the foundation and not been able to finish it, everyone who sees it may begin to mock him, saying, This man began to build what he was not able to finish. Or what king, advancing to engage in war against another king, would not first sit down and consider whether he may be able? with 10,000, to meet one who comes against him with 20,000. If not, then while the other is still far away, sending a delegation, he would ask him for terms of peace. Therefore, every one of you who does not renounce all that he possesses is not able to be my disciple. The Word of the Lord.